Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm first of all really excited because I'm back to filming. Um, I had a tiny mishap for those of you that didn't have a chance to either see the video or you're new to my channel or whatever it may be. For the last week, I haven't been able to upload any videos because my old MacBook, which to its defense is 10 years old, it went out on me, completely died. Um, so I actually bit the bullet and went out and bought a new MacBook Pro this past week. So I've been like fiddling with it because it died. I literally had to um, recreate all of the like graphics, if you will, that I had for my channel. So like my intro, my little pop-ups where like probably right around here at some point, um, my Instagram and Snapchat will be coming up. I had to recreate all of those and they took me a long time. So I've been just kind of getting used to that. Um, I downloaded Final Cut Pro, so I'm not using iMovie anymore, so I've been getting used to that. So yeah, I've just been dealing with that. So I'm sorry that I have not been on my channel. I missed you guys. I was so excited to be able to sit down and film today. And it is literally the perfect day because it's currently snowing outside. We were supposed to just get a dusting and it's been coming down for quite a while. So yeah, um, I do have an addition to my background. Thanks to my lovely fiance, he came home on Valentine's Day with a dozen white roses and I believe there are a dozen lilies as well. And lilies and white roses are my favorite. Stargazer or lilies are my favorite. I have them tattooed on my back. So yeah, um, I just kind of wanted to give you guys that update because it's been so long since I've been on my channel, so I'm super happy. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to hop in. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing the new Maybelline Superstay 24-hour long wear foundation. And I have this in the shade 112 Natural Ivory. So um, I really don't know. Okay, so here I'll, I'll just say what it says on the back says full coverage foundation up to 24 hour wear seamless matte finish breathable breathable and comfortable fade and transfer resistant oil free doesn't clog pores dermatologist tested and then it says it in another language I'm not really sure what that is so um then it says peel for ingredients so the ingredients that are in this I have no idea so I don't even know how to pronounce half of those so what I'm gonna be doing is reviewing this I'm gonna do a wear test like I normally do on all of my foundations I did realize that I am reviewing quite a bit of foundations lately so um, I do apologize for that um, I guess you know I've just there's been a lot of new foundations coming out on the market so yeah um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on so if you guys want to see my full review on the new Maybelline foundation then let's just go ahead and get started okay so I have scooted you guys in a little bit closer so that we're a little bit more up close and personal so like I said this is the Maybelline it's up to 24 hour foundation is what it says so like I said again I got it in the shade 112 um, actually before I open that I'm going to go ahead and prep my skin with the hangover RX um, I do love this it is actually a primer and setting spray all in one and it does get the skin really tacky so I really do enjoy it so I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this all over my face and then I'm gonna wait for it to dry okay so something that does kind of concern me about this is I'm just gonna go ahead and put a few pumps on the back of my hand is that um, this says it's a matte finish me and Matt we're not friends so this is what it looks like right here it does seem to be more of a thicker foundation as you guys can see it's not like super runny on my hand but it definitely is runny so i am just gonna go ahead and dot this all over my face like i normally would with any of my other foundations okay so one good thing is that it 
two pumps does all this to my face so I have a feeling that it's going to completely cover my whole face so that is a wonderful thing. So next I'm just going to take my Eco Tool sponge and I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out all over my face. Okay, so this is just the first application, just one layer all over my face, one even layer. Um, I do just want to point out really quick that I did do my brows before I got on camera just because you guys have seen me do my brows before, so I don't need to do them again. So I really like this foundation first um, with the first application. I will say that even though it claims to be a matte foundation, I can tell you right now it's not going to be a super matte foundation just because if it was going to be a super matte it would not be working for my skin. So that is something that I can give to those of you that are on the oilier side um, because I am extremely dry so if this was an extreme matte foundation it would not be working for me at all. It's very lightweight for the amount of coverage that it gives. I'm sure as you guys could see before I had redness around my nose and with this first um first layer of application I can definitely notice that all of that is pretty much covered what I'm gonna do now is just take a little bit the slightest amount just very tiny like half a pump and I'm gonna go ahead and apply and apply that just kind of right here on my cheeks where I get a little bit more red than normal and then on the bridge of my nose and that is one of my biggest tests is that I did cover up the redness on the bridge of my nose because if anywhere, that is where I notice it the most. So that it definitely says that it's a full coverage foundation. So I'm just going to blend this out and see if it's buildable after it's kind of set a little bit on my skin. Okay, so this is absolutely a full coverage foundation. I'm not going to need to use as much concealer as I normally would, so that is definitely a plus point for me. 112 is definitely just about my perfect shade. I might have, like, just the tone is off a little bit, but the only person that's going to notice that is me. So yeah, I am loving this. It is, it's covering up all of my redness. I don't even really feel like I would need a full coverage concealer um, because most of my other foundations aren't exactly this full coverage um, they're more of a lighter weight medium coverage so I can use my shape tape to get full coverage around my eyes so I am absolutely loving this foundation at this point, you guys. It is beautiful. It, it really is. It's a gorgeous foundation. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and hop off camera. I'm going to apply the rest of my face, concealer, powders, everything like that. Then I'll come back on, tell you guys what I think about how everything applied, if it broke up at all, if anything happened that shouldn't have happened with a, a normal foundation. And then I will take you guys throughout my day. So I will see you guys in just a few minutes. Alrighty everybody, so I've applied the rest of my face makeup and I have to say that the um, foundation works really well. Nothing broke up, nothing was patchy, everything applied as if it normally would on like my L'Oreal Pro Glow or my Dior Forever foundation. So I am really happy and pleased with that. So really now the true test is how long does it wear? Sometimes I have foundations and they only last for a couple of hours like this. Sometimes I have them like my L'Oreal Pro Glow and it'll last like 10 hours. And that's awesome because that's an entire work day from the time you leave your house and do your makeup until the time that you get home. So I'm really hoping that this is a long wear foundation and that it stays on my face as it looks right now. Powders, my concealer, everything went on top beautifully. I have literally no complaints about this foundation thus far. It is currently, what time is it? It is currently 6.09 p.m. And I know that's kind of late, but I really don't have any plans the rest of the evening. Like I said, it's been snowing here all day. So 
I am basically just going to chill out the rest of the evening. Um, I'll, I've actually had this on for about an hour. So I, I'll probably get five to six hours of wear out of this. Then I can kind of tell you guys, is it starting to break up? What's the real deal? So yeah, I will see you guys in a couple of hours with my update on how it's looking. Alrighty, everybody. So this is going to be my one and only check-in. I'm literally dying. I'm so tired. It is like only nine o'clock. Hashtag grandma status. That's me right here. I've been up since 7 a.m. in my full defense. So I've had this on since like five-ish. I know I said six, but I've had it actually on since like five. And if you guys can see, it's just in my smile lines a little bit. I mean, that's where it's breaking up and like a little bit around my nose. Um, it's breaking up a little bit. So, I mean, it's nothing too crucial in my personal opinion. Um, I think that it would withstand a... I mean, I've been wearing it for four hours now, so I think it would be able to withstand like six plus, seven plus. I mean, it's holding up really well. I mean, it's a drugstore foundation. You can't expect like the best of the best, but for a drugstore foundation, it is top notch. So I definitely give it that. Um, I definitely say go out and try it. If you're super oily though, even though it claims to be matte, I wouldn't because, um, my skin is not looking dry in any shape or form and if it was that matte and was supposed to keep you matte then my skin would be like cracking and it would be really dry and it's not showing any of those signs so just keep that in mind if you have oily or oilier skin that this is not as matte as they claim it to be or at least not in my personal opinion um like i've said before i have extremely dry skin so it's not that matte in my opinion um but yeah that is all that i have for this video you guys that's pretty much it um i give the maybelline 24 hour foundation i think it's it's flawless i know my hair kind of looks like madness right now i just like laid down on my bed and was like oh i have to film my final thoughts on this foundation before i Go take a shower and wipe off my face. You know? Yeah. All right, everybody. Well, if you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you um, have tried this foundation, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Did you like it? Did you hate it? What's up? What did you think? Um, and also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Also, don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified for future videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.